Look at this, neighbor Stefan made this. It's pretty cool. Thank you so much, neighbor Stefan. Okay, happy new year everyone. And welcome to the first video of 2022. And we are going today to go over all the games that we are looking forward to, at least I am, in 2022. And I did make notes of this. Backlog games. It's in my other book. <laughs> Some of the games that I am looking forward to this year. First one is Kirby and the Forgotten Lands. This one is coming out in spring, so it is pretty soon. Now, Kirby and the Forgotten Lands it is a 3D platformer. It looks great. It is in fully 3D, and from the trailer, it sounds like it has good music and a variety in the worlds. This Kirby game looks like it definitely has the Mario charm from Mario 3D platformers. You can still copy abilities of your enemies. It also looks like 2D paths and 3D paths. There are puzzles and why am I doing this? There are puzzles and boss fights. I think it looks good. It looks like a Switch game. <laughs> It is looking colorful and sort of like a deserted world, like post-apocalyptic sort of city going on, I don't know. But I am looking forward to it because it is, from what I know, the first 3D Kirby game that you can actually move around in 3D. Something that I have been missing forever. So Kirby and the Forgotten Lands everyone, that is in spring. 2022. Looking good. Now the next game, and this one is, I'm so excited, and it is Pokemon Legends Arceus. This one is coming out really soon, January the 28th. And this time you play as a person in the Hisui region. It is set centuries before Diamond and Pearl. It is an open world, it has several biomes. And you can see from the trailer Jubilife Village. Which is then centuries later Jubilife City in Diamond and Pearl. Now you can sneak, you can roll, and you are a part of the Galaxy Expedition Team, where you are set to catalog all Pokemons out in the wild. This is before people captured Pokemons and used them for battles and stuff like that. This is set like several hundred years ago. Your mission is to catalog all of these Pokemons. It's gonna be something entirely different and you're gonna get assignments and missions. You're going to actually craft Pokeballs and this game has open combat from what it looks like. It also has new Pokemons, new versions of earlier Pokemons. And you can explore this world, you can ride Pokemons, you can fly, glide. This looks like a open world Pokemon game and I'm just so excited to see how Pokemon as a series and franchise is evolving into something just truly amazing. It looks super good, open world, it almost looks like it took inspiration from Breath of the Wild. So this one, January the 28th. Looking forward to this game. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Everyone. Now the next game, and all of you know about this game. It is called The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Working title, obviously. But it is the sequel to Breath of the Wild which I just mentioned also. This one is set for 2022. In my personal predictions, I predict that this will be coming out in one year, holiday times, like November, December 2022. It's just my predictions. I don't know. And we will probably also see more trailers and gameplay from this game this summer, is what I'm predicting. Okay, so this is the most highly anticipated game for most Switch owners, at least for everyone that played and enjoyed Breath of the Wild. Now, this is the five years anniversary this year of Breath of the Wild. I can't believe there's been five years already since Breath of the Wild. Time really flies, doesn't it? Now we see cities in the skies, we see free falling, just like 
we saw in Skyward Sword. We can see Hyrule Castle flying up in the sky. We can see Link's arm being all weird. So he has like a spectral hand of sorts. And I'm thinking that maybe he can reverse time with this ability that he has in his hand. It's what I figured from the trailer. And we can also see from the gameplay trailer that he has some sort of dragon flamethrower. New item, probably. Now I am thinking time travel. Is this game gonna have time travel? Is it gonna be something super epic and messed up? At least I think we are going to be up in the clouds a lot. Something, something, and the spectral hand. We don't know much about this game yet, but I have a feeling it's going to be good. That is coming out in 2022 according to Nintendo, but we don't know the date. But remember, Breath of the Wild 2 is coming. Now the next game. Super excited for this game. Actually, I can't wait for this game. Just gonna be honest with you, I cannot wait for this game. I'm talking about Atelier Sophie 2. The series that I always talk about on this channel. It is called Atelier. I am obsessed. I have talked about it all the time for years. Now this game is coming out the 25th of February. It is like what? One and a half month until we can play this game. Now I'm hoping for a review code. But anyways, this will be Gust's newest game. And it is the best looking Atelier to date. This game is gonna have seamless battle transitions. No longer a proper transition between free roaming and gathering things in the open areas. It looks fabulous to me, it looks really good. I'm so much looking forward to this game. And there's something so addicting with Atelier games. It's like collecting and crafting, I love it. Exploring and fighting and leveling up. And I mean, now in Christmas, I beat Atelier Arisa 2 with 100% on all dungeons except for the super hard extra DLC dungeon, which is impossible. But everything else in the game, I went and did every single thing that I hadn't previously done. And let me just tell you, I ha I'm having the best time. I've had the best time. I love this series so much. And now I am restarting and replaying Atelier Sophie, the first one, so that I am getting ready for this game, Atelier Sophie 2. It looks super beautiful, much more details on face and animations. It is a game with turn-based combat and an addicting gameplay loop. I'm gonna talk more about this game when it is released, so don't you worry about that. Be subscribed and I will let you know everything. Now the next game that I want to talk about is called Rune Factory 5. Now this one, I think it's gonna be great because it is one of my favorite game series from the old times. I have played Rune Factory since 2012, I think, that I discovered the series. Anyways, this is Rune Factory 5 and it is coming out now, March 2022. It is a farming life simulator with combat and social romancing elements. It looks super pretty. Finally, back to 3D. Now, because Rune Factory 4, that was 2D, and there has been a couple of 3D graphical style Rune Factories. We are talking Rune Factory Oceans and Rune Factory Frontiers. That was games on the PS3 and the Wii. Now we are back to 3D again. And in this game, like any other Rune Factory game, you can catch monsters, tend to your farm, you can do cooking, you can ride your animals, you can make profits on your crops, you can get married. And this game has hack and slash combat and it has same-sex marriage supported. It looks so cozy, it looks like my type of game. And if you ever enjoyed a, a good life simulator game, I am confident that this will be good. I don't know, it's just a feeling that I have. It's gonna be good. And 
I could start this game today. I am very much looking forward to it. Now I'm gonna have some quick mentions and that are the games that I didn't make proper notes for, but they are coming in 2022. And that would be Bayonetta 3. I haven't played Bayonetta 1 or 2. It's a series that I haven't played, but it is coming. Number 3 is coming this year. Now Splatoon 3 is also coming this year. I'm not a fan of Splatoon, but I understand the concept and that it could be fun if you have people to play with, basically. Another game that is coming that I know for sure a lot of my friends, and by that I mean Tiny Hats, my friend, is looking forward to. And that would be Two Point Campus, a new game and a new concept made by the people that made Two Point Hospital, which is going to be a simulation game set on the campus. Now also we have Horizon Forbidden West coming out, but I don't have a PS5 yet. <laughs> But I'm sure I'm gonna play it. I'm sure I'm gonna get a PS5 this year. Can you guys believe that it is 2022? And have you guys seen the meme? This is gonna be 2022. Now that was only some of the games that I'm looking forward to. A quick small video to start off the year. Now I and uh, me and Tony Hats, we made a podcast. I'm officially announcing that we have made a podcast called Disc Disc. That is a weird name. Never mind that. But you can find it on YouTube. Link in description and top comment. And on Spotify. That is what we are doing. It's gonna be fun to listen to. I mean, people are listening to this podcast while they are walking their dogs. Or I don't know what they're doing. Driving to work. So uh, I hope you wanna try and listen to it. It's gonna be funny, I hope. I hope it's gonna be funny. Now, other than that, I'm gonna make a Played Lately video with proper stuff soon. Thank you so much for watching everyone and I will see you later in 2022. <laughs> oh god.